इलेक्ट्रनिक्स थार्टी सेवन एबसेंट थार्टीट एबसेंट फर्टी एबसेंट दें आई टी सिक्सटी एबसेंट दें मेकानिकल सिक्सटी एबसेंट दें माइनिंग टोटी नाइन एबसेंट मेकानिकल फिफ्टी वन Yes, attendance given. Then fifty-four given attendance. Electrical fifty-four. Electrical fifty-four attendance given. Then uh, amen. Mining twenty-six given. Then C V eighty-seven. Yes, attendance given. Okay, that's all. Attendance portion is over. मिड सेमिस्टर एग्जाम डिड यू रिसीव एनी इनविटेशन मेल फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ दर टीचर गुगल मीटिंग लिंक सेपरेट लिंक उल बी गिवेन देयर एक्चुअली द आईडिया इज फॉर एनी एग्जाम Uh, or either mid sem or end sem, there will be separate classroom. There, question will be given around say five minutes uh, before the timing. Then say forty-five minutes exam time each semester. Then fifty minutes will be allowed for uploading. So when will be this exam? So you have to attend uh, the uh, the classroom before say ten minutes, fifteen minutes before. So hopefully we'll get. Five minutes before the time uh, schedule time, your question paper. Then we will be um, say myself. There will be some other external uh, in that uh, classroom as a teacher to monitor you. And once it will be say eleven forty-five, eleven to eleven forty-five. So eleven forty-five, we will leave the room. Then your responsibility is to uh, uh, scan the document and upload. there so no one will be there at uh, as a teacher will not be there to cause verify uh, after after uh, 11:45 so it is your responsibility if somebody is not able to upload then you cannot if you upload that then it will come to me as the late submission okay and as per the rule late submission for exam which same or end same that Uh, we will send that copy to dean academic uh, for uh, deputy de, uh, for for uh, for uh, or maybe controller of uh, examinations 
for the away court because it is not allowed any extra time after so 45 minutes last 15 minutes one hour after that no extra time will be allowed okay except some disabled disabled persons they can appear uh, they can apply to dean academic they can get some extra time that is exceptional case okay so what is recommended that once time is over uh, like 11:45 or 11:40 when you have completed then you start you should start scanning and upload there should not be any delay even not a single second then it will come to me as a late submission then i then i have to send your answer skip to the corresponding authority for late uh, submission next one is maybe i have you have seen i have uh, posted that rules and regulation if i found because this is online exam okay if i found any of your answer skip any question is uh, is you is something like you have taken some uh, unfair means that will be liable to cancellation of the exam so definitely in if i found the way it goes for some student class test if i found that thing in mid semester then uh, directly that that answer skip will be cancelled be careful okay so once again i am telling that many times what we are doing we are changing the data in the in the question paper but if i we found anybody is adding to the old data old data as per the problem sheet we will assume that the student is not honest and he or she is, is adopting some unfair means and that will be liable to cancellation of the whole exam that subject okay that is the warning i should tell that's all for that uh, advice informations to share now let's come back to the problem sheet so today you are getting today and uh, next today is uh, and next tuesday 8 okay so let me check it i should open first of all some frame problem okay frame okay then let me open i will share the screen later okay in just one minute okay so first of all frame then yes then so what i like to know from some blank page okay some blank page let me share the screen actually if it should be recorded it is supposed to be good for you you can check that one later also <coughs> now yes so first of all we start with frame okay so can you tell me what are the problems you are facing issue in in solution in, in to solve some problems i solved before yes. sir here yes yes sir this code uh, one by one okay ha huh. actually i think i think let me check one i have solved correct right? two also i have solved then on the somebody ask anything somebody is asking right? 9 no 9 yes sir 9 ha ha tell me yes we can go slow don't worry now tell me what are the problems you are facing issue which problem anybody can tell don't worry okay which problem you are facing difficulty to solve sir problem number 7 sir okay just a minute i should note down Fine, seven. And the next, sir, I have in problem sheet number five point one and five point two. That that I that I will come later. Okay, let's finish this uh, this uh, uh, frame part. Okay, I will come today itself. I will come. 
What is the next problem you are facing issue? Okay, I will ask. Three is okay for you? Yes or no? Anybody is facing issue in three? So three is fine, correct? Sorry, yes. yes. Sir, in three, sir, the answer is like five twenty five point four eight nine eight. Nobody bothered about that. You see, I will tell you the one idea is, Amas, you are telling, you tell me. Amas, five. Sir, five to five point four eight nine eight. Okay, four eight nine eight Newton. So, what is the percentage of error? This is important for engineers. Okay, so that is 0.48, or maybe consider 0.5 divided by 525 divided by 100 percentage. Okay, so roughly you divide this 5, 500, then 0.05 percentage. It is nothing. Okay. Being engineer, you can consider that you are getting some error. And that is 0 0.05 percentage. That is nothing negligible. Understood? Don't worry. But what you have to do, as I told, even when it is given G, you have to use 9.8 okay, meter per second square. That one you have to do and you calculate. Some error will come. Don't worry. Sir, in yeah. some question it is given, sir, G equal to 9.81. No, then take that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nine. I, 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 sorry, I am sorry. 9.81. You have to take 9.81. Sorry, I am sorry. 9.81 meter per second square. Yeah, you take that. That's all. Don't worry, okay? So this is this error is nothing. Then problem four. Have you solved this? Is it okay for you? Problem four? Yes or no? I am assuming it's okay. If you are not telling anything, it is I am assuming okay. Here blue is this is two force member. This is two force member. This one, if I write this is B and this is B prime, so B, B prime is the two force member. You consider that and draw the favorite diagram. Maybe one is this, one is this. Carefully draw the favorite diagram, first part, then you draw favorite diagram of this one. You will get the answer. So this is the first favorite diagram. This is the, this is the second one. And this is the third one. Carefully you use that one, then you will get answer. I'll tell you, many of the students didn't solve. I can, I am helpless for them. Four is over. Then five. Five is more simple. Okay. Five here you can have this is the two force number. This is the two force number here. This one. Okay. Maybe this is also B B prime. This is the B B prime compressive force. Uh, two force member, then you can have free body diagram of this part. Okay, this part means this, this, then here it is hinge, correct? You take this, you take this. So this is x axis, this is y axis. Give some name. This is say B, force is B, this is say A, this is CY, CX. Summation fx equal to 0 will give cx equal to 0. Okay, so this will be 0. But you cannot write directly, you have to use this equilibrium equation, then c equal to 0 will get c equal to 0, then you will get this. So 1, 2, 3, okay, out of this, okay, 3, all 3 are unknown. So if I use this is free body one, then I'll use this as a two and this is the free body diagram three. So if you draw this two, free body diagram of two carefully, then then you can have here only one I told, correct? So if it is downward, this will be this way. And maybe you consider this is the this is maybe this way. So this is maybe A B C, correct? So this is C Y. Maybe this is D Y, and this is T. Okay. So two 
दिस इज नॉन वैल्यू वन फिफ्टी न्यूटन टेक मोमेंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस यू कैन गेट सी वाई समीशन एफ वाई विल गिव डी वाई ओके समी कैन कंसिडर डी एक्स ऑल्सो डी एक्स विल बी जीरो फ्रॉम समीशन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स दिस दिस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड दिस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड फाइनली समथिंग टोल्ड नो फॉर स्क्यू डेवलप्ड इज दिस इज नो दिस इज स्क्यू बेसिकली सो इफ यू नो दिस वैल्यू then two unknowns correct so what we can do if you take moment with respect to this b in this point then q can be calculated simple the answer is q is 2.7 kN you can note down who has solved are you getting this value yes 2.7 yes yes 2.7 kN then this problem okay there is a spring clamp in the spring clamp shown an internal spring is coiled around the pin a this pin a. internal uh, spring it is told some internal spring is there okay this location basically that internal spring is look this like this this is the internal spring here okay and the spring ends bear against the inner surface of the handle halves uh in order to provide desired clamping force you have seen this type of things like even when we are using you know some cloths we use this type of things when we want to dry it in 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 sunlight so in the position shown a force of magnitude p equal to 25 kN sorry newton is required to release the clamp you have to release the clamp if you use Here, 25 newton load. So by default, what what is happening when there is no P force? These these two ends it is tied to tied to meet together. That is the natural tendency. Only by using this force, what we can do with this this one, we can this tip you can move away. These two tips you can move away by using this some force. But due to the spring, it is it is natural tendency to have these two points close together. They should touch together. Okay, and uh, you have to calculate, determine the compressive force B if P equal to zero. Determine the compressive force at B at B S at B when P equal to zero. Okay, fine. So to solve this type of problems, you have to draw. Free body diagram carefully. Say, for example, if I draw the free body diagram, so like this, I cannot draw very uh, correctly due to this online this pointer issues. But when you are using pen and paper, you can have better time drawing there. So if this And this point is say A, and this point is B, so B Y, okay, B Y. For some force has been applied here, and it is, it is say P, okay. And this is one point. Maybe this force is A Y. This force is A Y. You can you can see this is this will be connected. And no friction we are considering. Okay, here, this case. So and this is something like this and this connection. So only one reaction force. Okay, just like you can consider, this is point contact. Only one reaction force, upward direction. So it's a B Y. So B X is zero, but here it is hinge. So we can expect expect some E X. This is the X and this is the Y. one thing i missed till now there is some spring this spring will give some compressive force the spring will give some compressive force let it be this is the compressive force spring force correct so maybe we can consider ps spring force so this is the fbd of upper portion of upper part of spring clamp Clamp. 
and you consider the distance assume the distance is r some distance is r what are the other distance given from this to this this also you have to draw in the free body diagram 110 mm and from this to this is 40 mm what you can do you can use what your scale such that this ratio can be maintained roughly the 40 at least it should be two times but i have not done correctly okay so if i want to draw that one i have to extend this one like this okay and maybe this is p then you come here now this looks okay is a 1 1 10 mm this is 40 mm okay so you do so now we this p s swing force We don't know that is unknown thing now okay s p r i n g spring force is p s so for the initial conditions first case p equal to 25 newton when you are applying p equal to 25 newton it is told that in the position shown a force of magnitude p equal to 25 newton is required to release the clamp when to release clamp if you want to release this what will be the reaction force here you tell me if you want to release this one what will be the reaction force here by what will be the by value 25 into 150 no 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 zero. you have to release this zero. no contact no contact oh, zero, 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 zero. Zero. actually what we can do initially if you use summation fx equal to zero Somebody can write that this AX equal to 0. There is no horizontal force. So this will be 0. First you do this. Okay. AX equal to 0. Because this is hinge. So we have to consider both AX and BY. So B, BY will be 0 for to release the uh, clamp. Now with that condition, if it is 0, if you come here, if it is 0, draw, if it is 0, this point is A take moment with respect to A and equate that to 0 here then then it will be P multiplied by 110 P multiplied by 110 minor that is this anti clockwise and clockwise is P S multiplied by R that will be 0 that means P S multiplied by R equal to P into 110 okay actually Newton millimeter if I write P P is 25 25 multiplied by 110 that Newton millimeter is the P is multiplied by R this is nothing but force multiplied by R let it be you get the value now next case when determine the compressive force at B means B Y when P equal to 0 in the case 1 case 2 uh, p equal to 0 if p equal to 0 here this this one this is p if p equal to 0 then take moment with respect to a and equate that equal to 0 from this correct in that case the expression will be 0 multiplied by 110 and this is anti clockwise sorry clockwise is P S multiplied by R. P S multiplied by R. This is clockwise, and this reaction is also anti-clockwise. Clockwise. B Y multiplied by R T equal to zero. So B Y will be P S multiplied by R by R T. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. So. That value we got before 25 multiplied by, oh, sorry, it was how much? It was this value was 25 multiplied by 110, correct? By 40. Okay. If you calculate, you will get 68.8 Newton. Okay. So that problem is solved. Next problem 7. Anybody solved this problem 7 already? Problem 7. Sir, horizontal force will be taken now. Question 7. 
horizontal force yes will take but it will cancel out okay sir that i did not understand okay i'll tell you so actually you have to be careful this is the ruler correct this one this one okay, so it, it has only this force okay, okay then sir. solve correct uh, yes sir i think so yeah yeah that is the slot so th bottom also this is the slot of the circular cir uh, cylinder so only only one one force no horizontal force ruler it is equivalent to ro ruler support okay okay anyway i can draw the free body diagram for you for this problem see if i draw free body diagram for this one i'll take this one then i'll take this one with this two i can solve i'll show you that one if i draw free body diagram you will understand so this 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 sorry it will be like something like this so this is the slot sorry this can be erased okay so here what we can write this is c r e y for this case or this case maybe r b y this is the vertical confirm this is vertical confirm sorry not this one this one vertical confirm and it will be it will be say r a y and r a x point b sorry 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 if it is a this is if it is a this is b then i will write this is c point c point b point a this is x this is y summation f x equal to 0 will give r a x equal to 0 so this will be 0 okay r x will be 0 then what are the remaining things we are having now this reactions r a y sorry r c y r a y and r b y okay so if somebody write this way f y equal to 0 somebody can have somebody can have the expression it is told once again that for the paper pump shown here find the pumping force q corresponding to the hand force p when this is p then it is q r c y equal to q given okay so if it is so then if f y equal to 0 we can write r c y plus r b y minus r a y equal to 0 or r c y q plus r b y minus r a y equal to 0 or or you can write that this is r a y minus r b y equal to q so this relationship we can have that this q equal to sorry this this q equal to basically r a y minus r b y next is we can draw i want to save some time it will it is this and draw here itself. Let me take a different color. So now our we have to draw this one. You have to draw separately, okay? I am saving some time.
body diagram of this part. So write FBD of this part, okay? So what we got R A Y here we got this in 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 downward. So here I will give in upward R A Y. And here what we have considered R this one is R B Y. What we have considered here R B Y due to symmetry. Due to symmetry, if it is R B Y here, R B Y also will be here. So if it is top upward directions here, this one top. So it will be downward directions. If it is upward the here, this one. I am telling about this one. If it is upward, then this will be downward, and this downward reactions. Reactions will come here. That will be upward. I will explain once again. R P Y. Thing is, I have here one block, here one block. Here we have assumed for this one, for this one, upward directions. So at bottom side it will be downward directions. If it is downward directions, similar way I, I draw this here, it will be downward directions. For this part, then that reaction will be opposite direction. R B Y like this. R B Y. Then this is R. Then this point. This is a new point basically. If I consider this point is C. No, this is D basically. A B C. This is D. So then I can consider R B Y. Here I am writing R D X. So X axis, Y axis, summation F X zero will give R D X equal to zero. So this will be zero. You cannot write here basically. You will write this free body diagram carefully. Then you will equate horizontal directions free body diagram. Get R D X equal to zero. Once you get R R D X equal to zero. Then you have this free body diagram, and I told this point D. This is point D. So if I take moment with respect to D and equate that to zero, this one. Then what I am getting here? R A Y multiplied by A sine will be negative clockwise. Then plus R B Y multiplied by A anti-clockwise with respect to this positive. Then plus P multiplied by A plus B equal to zero positive. This is positive uh, anti-clockwise. R B Y will give anti-clockwise. R A Y will give clockwise. From this we can write. From this we can write P equal to here P equal to. Equal to equal to R A Y minus R B Y. Yes. So P into yes. I I mean something. So P into moment equation. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is B. Yes, yes. You are right. Into B. Yes, yes. So R A minus R B. R A Thank you. Okay, R A Y minus R R B Y multiplied by A by B, and this is Q R A Y minus R B Y Q A by B. That is the expression. Sorry, it is B by A. Correct? Where I am doing mistake? Sir, we have to find Q. So it will be oh, K into B by A. Yes, yes. We have to calculate Q. Q equal to P B by A. So you will get this one. Okay. So how many problems we are having? Okay. Now for this problem, <coughs> for this problem, what we can do? We can draw the free body diagram of these portions.
this is the free body diagram of this special box range okay so load is p okay and i have removed this i have removed this so reaction forces we can say that for this here it is one horizontal it is one horizontal and one is vertical it is one is horizontal other is vertical so i can assume that as this is downward directions i can consider this is cy first of all you have to draw only this portion okay you have to remove this one from here so c is if the psp is downward direction cy will be upward directions okay and you can see this is the contact so if i extend this this will be some 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 uh, resultant force maybe i can consider here it is r reactions and as a r is this reactions the it is inclined so it has some component horizontal component so i can write this is the cx i can write this is the cx now you have to use this geometric calculations here what you can do if i extend this line if you can extend this line let me take a different color if it works fine yellow no you cannot see so let it be this color so if i extend this line if i extend this line and i can draw one normal here one normal here so you look into this this is one line then this is one normal and this is the horizontal line this is the horizontal line this is 30 degree and this is 90 degree so definitely this will be 60 degree this will be 60 degree now and this point is this point is uh oh, this point is o oh, given okay in somebody take moment with respect to o and equate that to zero moment with respect to o and equate that to zero for moment equilibrium then this r is passing through that point o cy is also cx is also passing through that point in that case cy multiplied by momentum 30 minus p multiplied by 140 will be g what cy will be 4 correct 4p p is 160 newton so 150 yes. p right which one p into 150 oh sorry sorry i have taken yes yes 120 plus 30 Yes, so it is 150. So multiplied by so 5p. It is 5p. Okay. So 5 multiplied by 160, 800 newton. Cy is 800 newton. Okay. I cannot say Cx is zero because there is some R component. Okay. there is some R component. So it is asked that you have to calculate that. magnitude of the force supported by the pin at point c so cx we require cx value we require cx if i use summation fx equal to 0 then cx and r some relationship will get but we are not happy we want to calculate cx how can we do how can we calculate that value cx so what we can do so here this is cy correct so this is the cy it passes like this if i further extend this and this is the point say if it is a b c this is this is d if this is point is d and i, I want to take moment with respect to d moment with respect to d if i take moment with respect to d then once again this r0 
is r this reaction force r is passing through d okay so for that case what is this length this length will be what is this length if it is 30 you okay, tell me sin or tan this is given this is 30 given horizontal and this is theta okay see this, this is i okay, tell you yes yes, yes yes so this is 30 this is 30 sorry sorry this is here yeah, here is 30 degree okay this way this is 30 mm and this angle is 30 degree and we are interested here okay so that is 30 10 10 30 degree okay this height by base equal to 10 30 so height equal to 30 10 30 degree so what we can write for simplicity here it is it is cx and i have to take moment with respect to this cy is passing through this r also passing through this so cx multiplied by distance cd distance cd this is with respect to d it is anti clockwise minus p multiplied by 120 or cx equal to p is 160 multiplied by 120 by cd as i told this is 30 10 30 degree 30 10 30 degree so if someone calculate it will be 1109 newton so what we can say that cx is around 1100 cx and cy we got 800 so i can draw this say so around around it is 1109 newton cx and this is c sorry 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 not this one okay i should write this way this way this is 800 newton cy cx I can I can erase these portions. So let me clear it. One second. So this is eleven hundred zero nine and maybe this is eight hundred. Magnitude wise also close value I want. C Y C eight hundred Newton C X one one zero nine Newton. So its resultant will be C value is the resultant that will be this C. So C square root C X square plus C Y square. I want additional terms phi phi is tan inverse c y by c x so c value you will get and phi value if we calculate you can give additional value of phi then only it will say that what is happening basically here you try to understand due to this application of force some resultant will act like this some resultant will act like this that will be so there is one force like this here this one then another one force will be like this and this is the force that way it is acting with you so you have applied some external force p then some reactions from this knot that is r and here some resultant here some resultant c you will get this that way the special box range acts basically it is it's supposed to have hexagonal head supposed to have hexagonal head and you can adjust with the length such that it will you can tighten this and this knot will be tightened with the bolt okay then 9 is done then 10 and 11 2 remaining okay so, so for 10 okay can you tell me there is any uh, two force members in yes, this sir. problem how many three three very good 
of course one is this other is this third one is this so what i expect roughly i'll tell you first of all i expect that draw the fibroid diagram so this is the p i'm drawing roughly not you can i know you can draw better than this so let it be like this okay so you draw fibroid diagram of the entire structures then only you will get this weight is 135 kg multiplied by 9.81 newton and this is the p if you draw this fbd of the whole structure then only you will get summation fy equal to 0 that is p minus 135 multiplied by 9.81 newton p equal to 135 point 135 multiplied by 9.81 newton when you are drawing this whole structure fbd then only you can get this p equal to 135 uh, kg otherwise you cannot get is not it you draw this one first that fibroid diagram of the whole structures will give you that p equal to summation f y equal to 0 so of course this is x this is y where 0 will give p equal to 135 uh, kg multiplied by 9.81 newton very quickly you can do this okay then what you can do first of all this is the fbd1 fbd2 what you can do fbd2 let's draw a this one two force number this is cd this is also this is c this is d this is also you can write cd two force number let's have the tensile then FBD3 you can have this free body or this both are same okay and let's have tensile mode if I draw one due to symmetry I can tell the other one this is BC sorry this is G TG and this is BG very quickly you can do this okay let's do, not not require due to symmetry so BG so this is the BG force and this is the BG force let's draw this also as the tensile number so first free body diagram second one third one then we have to move to the fourth fbd diagram for fourth fbd diagram let's draw this p then here what i have told this is tensile i told correct this is tensile that means if I draw that is tensile then here also we are supposed to have tensile like this or if you have imagined that in reverse way also this member suppose if you, you apply the load then A, AG and VG supposed to compressive or tensile load? Sir compressive okay if you if you can draw that one then draw this as a compressive and here you draw a reverse make it compressive if you, you can assume if you can assume then let it be compressive here then only this will be compressive you can draw that way so it is say g a or a g let me write a g is better term and this is b g okay and this is say alpha this also alpha what is the alpha value you can calculate from here the alpha value how you can calculate that alpha value so in this problem it is told to calculate this alpha value from this one this is 250 actually you take this way this is 350 and this is 340 this is 340 so you can calculate the alpha value okay so from this problem a video 4 you can have the idea that 
summation f x equal to zero will give b g cosine alpha minus k g cosine alpha equal to zero or b g equal to a g and that you know from the symmetry also that is true and summation f y equal to zero will give p minus Let's write only B G, two B G, both are same, okay? Two B G or A G, anything is okay. Cosine or sine? Sine. Sine alpha equal to zero. Okay. So you know the alpha value, you know the p value. It is told, okay? If you know the p value, this was the p value. Then B G value can be calculated as. Let me check. B G is two seven. Nine zero newton, two seven nine zero newton. B G value we can calculate. This B G value we can calculate. Now once we know the B G value, then that is same as A G value. Now either left side, this side, or this side you can draw the free body diagram. Let's draw the right side. If I draw the right side free body diagram of this, so this one, so and. This is the horizontal one. Let's have this is A G. This is alpha, and you know this is two force members. So it is C X. This is X. This is Y. This is C X. This is A G C X. Okay. Then this point. We are talking about this point. This point. Let me change the color. Let me draw this. So you can check as this is inclined like this. Okay. You can ex expect to nullify this. This force will be one like this. E Y. And as this force is like th this direction, so that may be not sure this direction because there is a g term also. Let it be E X. This is our assumption. This point is E. Okay. This point is E. So now draw the dimensions. Alpha we we know, and this is 250 mm, and this one is 120 mm. This is you write a B D of A C E part part A C E. Now, if we can come to this point, uh, this is uh, this is for this is fifth FBD fifth number FBD. From the fifth FBD, if some somebody want to write summation F Y equal to zero, then it is E G cosine our sine alpha here. This E G vertically. This is alpha. Cosine alpha, sine alpha. Sine. Sine. Yes. Sine alpha minus e u y equal to zero. So e u y equal to a g sine alpha. You know alpha value. You know a g value also. E y will be six six two point six six two point two one newton. Okay. Now this point is a. This point is C and this point is E. Yes. Now, if I take moment with respect to C and equate that to zero, here moment with respect to C. Okay. Then, what you can do if I take moment with respect to this? So somebody can. A G is there, correct? Somebody can uh, use this A G sine alpha. A G cosine alpha is horizontal, correct? A G cosine alpha is horizontal. A G sine alpha equal to that is vertical, correct? So if I consider moment with respect to this, then I can write A G cosine alpha multiplied by 250. Actually, this cosine alpha multiplied this cosine alpha multiplied by 250 is nothing but the distance. Somebody can work for that also. Okay, from this to this perpendicular distance is this two fifty two fifty cosine alpha. How if this is the alpha? 
you can check this is also alpha, is you not know it? If this is alpha, then this is also alpha. Then this distance, perpendicular distance, moment term is 250 cosine alpha. Somebody can use that one also. It's that 250 multiplied by cosine alpha. Or maybe AG you can decompose into two parts, AG cosine alpha, horizontal, AG sine alpha, vertical. AG sine alpha, moment term with respect to C is zero. So, if I write this way, then AG cosine alpha multiplied by 250, and that is clockwise, right, minus. I am talking moment with respect to this, then minus EX multiplied by 120. Because EX is also giving, sorry, sorry, EX is giving anticlockwise, correct? This EX with the yes, sir. Yes, yes, then, sir. then plus, okay. Then EY, EY is also giving anticlockwise, is not it? See, EY anticlockwise. So plus EY multiplied by what is this distance? The distance is this to this. This to this. Because if I take moment with respect to this, this e, e, EX is related to 150 and EY is related to distance between these two. What is this distance? This to this, anybody can tell? Yes, from this you can tell. That three, this is 680. This is 500. So 680 minus 500. Okay? Yes. 180. Then what is this distance? 90. 90. 90. Yes, yes. Multiplied by 90 equal to 0. You put this, then you will get ex value equal to 5150 Newton. So once again, 5150 Newton, EX, EY6622. That means EX, correct? So this value is 5105 Newton, EX. And EY, EY was which direction? Vertical direction, sorry. This was the EY, EX equal to 662.21 Newton. So, resultant is this basically. This is the resultant. And that was the square root you can calculate. EX square plus EO square. And this is alpha, maybe you can consider this is beta. Can inverse EY by EX. And due to symmetry, EX and EY are same. That's why they got this value. EX equal to EY equal to that. 5.18 Newton. So, to solve this problem, what we did? Initially, four structures we have considered and cell point and cell point and uh, if P supposed to act in a vertical line, in a vertical line. This is supposed to be vertical line. And whole structure periodic diagram will give P equal to this value, Newton. Now, once you have P equal to this Newton, you can look for you can look for first, this is the first FBD, second FBD, you can calculate, you can find that two first members CD. Then third one, this is the second one, third one, you can check that there are two members, there are two, another two members are two first members. So if you consider your, because by inspection you are sure this is a compressive, then this also you make as a compressive and mixture is two first members. 3, then come to 4, as you have considered compressive member, alpha, alpha, summation fx will give uh, bg equal to ag, then summation fy will give value of bg value. Once you know the, the bg value, that is same as ag value. So, ag value, no, bg value, you know. Now, you draw the last pivot diagram, pivot number uh, 5, where you can consider this is value ag one unknown here, two first number, CD unknown, and CX and CY. Out of this, AG already you know. AG is not unknown now, you already already know. So what we have to do for that case, if you take summation FY equal to zero, EY value you can calculate. And you 
if you can take a moment with respect to c then unknown uh, which value last you calculate c c x you can e x you can calculate you know e x you know e y so resultant you can calculate and this beta also you can calculate that means for these structures basically as we understood there will be some reaction force like this basically here here there will be some reaction force like this sorry sorry not here and sorry there will be some reaction force like this at e and f okay just a minute and e and f you can get this reaction forces okay now wait so they just says just wait just wait my pointer is not yes now it is working so what we understand this way and this way the resultant reaction force will act okay resultant force will act so what is oh one thing i should write 5.19 not newton it is kilo newton okay it is kilo newton okay so once you will check you can get the idea so what we used sometimes we used concept of symmetry sometimes we used utilize the advanced uh, the the logic for two force member to get the directions and step by step we can solve so you can get the results now the last problems okay last problem is so the toggle uh, uh players that are used for a variety of clamping purposes for a handle positions given by alpha let me check which is alpha this alpha is given so 10 degree and handle grip of p what is the p this is the p 150 newton hello yes sorry i got another call from uh, one of your uh, six uh, one of my sixth semester student okay so we are here now 
so we have to calculate the clamping force c produced okay clamping force c let me check it so a b d o okay then for this one a b o x let me check one force will apply here but from where it get this word c so at the tip c will be the i think it means here you going to say here yes sir but they should uh, write it clearly but this figure I, somewhere it is missed i guess okay no problem but you write it supposed to be c there only because a b d then c supposed to be there okay no problem so to solve this type of problem we will use the same concept concept of uh, some sort of uh, uh, free body diagram to balance uh, moment balance force balance so let me directly show you the solution for this not this one i do prefer this way first of all okay so what i want to do at the beginning i want to draw the free body diagram of this part you concentrate on the base which one i am showing you okay It is told that some P force 150 newton has been applied. Okay, and the dimensions of this problem is also given that 100 mm. That is implied basically. 100 mm was it was something implied dimension. Okay. So let me check it from here. This is hundred mm. This is hundred mm, and this is hundred mm. So it is not a uh, state one. This is inclined hundred mm. And here also 20 mm like this. This 20 mm is the distance between these two points. Okay, this 20 mm is the distance between two points. And you can see this is symmetric. If you can, this is the say 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 uh, uh, view one. I am showing from this. If somebody want to see from that side, so this distance also available. Same distance here. If it is alpha, then due to symmetry, you can. Check that other alpha also here. Okay, load is also symmetric. We'll utilize that one. So to do so, so this is A. Say A Y and A X here. This is this is B X and B Y. B X and B Y. So this is this is A Y. This is AX, and as I told, alpha given this alpha is same as this alpha. This alpha is same as if I connect between these two to 20 mm, this is vertical BY, and this is DX. And this alpha also will be here. This alpha. Once again, I can tell you this one. Instead of lower one, I am showing in upper one. Okay. So this two distance is 200. Sorry, 20 mm. And this is 100. This is 100 means if I draw this line in there, this is 100. This is 100 mm. 
if I extend this, okay, if I extend this, then if this is alpha, this is also alpha, and this is alpha, also alpha, this is also alpha. That's why I'm getting here alpha, and to show that one, sorry, that is the alpha here. That is the alpha here. That is the sorry alpha here. So using sorry 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 sorry. So here we are getting alpha. Now what I have to do? I have to drop uh, to equate that moment expression with respect to point B. So if I do this. So what I have to do, whatever P load has been applied, P multiplied by 100 cosine alpha. This to let me draw in different color. This to this was 100. If I take 100 cosine alpha, then horizontal portions will get horizontal one. But due to this. 20, 20 mm case, there will be some lower value of this. That is 20 sin alpha. Highly explainable. This 100 is given this to this, implying. So, what is the horizontal one? If you consider this is alpha, if this is alpha, then this also will be alpha. Inclination one. This is 100, this is alpha. Horizontal portion component is 100 cosine alpha. And if this is 20, then this component horizontal is 20 sine alpha because this is alpha. So P multiplied by 100 cosine alpha minus 20 sine alpha. This is the moment arm for P with respect to this D point. And that is that is clockwise or anticlockwise with respect to B? Anticlockwise. Anticlockwise. Let's take the positive. So minus, minus, then minus AX and AY component. If I take AY, then it will be minus AY sine 20 sine alpha equal to 0. Then we have not considered here AX minus AX 20 cosine alpha. Now, why I have not taken that on? I will tell you. If I draw a puberty diagram for this touch charge. Free body diagram of this structures, in the structure, you try to understand these portions. Then what we supposed to get? We supposed to get reaction force here. Then one vertical force, so this force, then this force and this force. As this is symmetry, try to understand, as this is symmetry, this force and this force supposed to act in the same direction. This point try to understand. If I draw the free body diagram for this section and it is symmetry, okay. So this is C Y, this is C Y, and if it is say this is A A Y, this is A X, then this is sorry, 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 A this is D Y, this is D X, this is A X. And both AX and DX supposed to be same direction, you know it. Due to the symmetry of this problem, or it should be different directions. Same, sir. Same. So if you take summation FX equal to 0, then AX plus DX equal to 0, or AX equal to DX equal to 0. That you can show that. So what we can do? We can draw the free body diagram of this structure and you can show from there that if summation fx equal to 0 will show ax plus dx 
equal to 0 due to symmetry x equal to dx. So, both ax and dx are 0. Now, from this fy equal to 0, ay minus dy equal to 0 or ay equal to dy equal to same. Now, if I utilize that this value ax equal to 0 from this expression, I p multiplied by known net length minus ay multiplied by some length, then ay equal to p, then uh, whatever the value we are having, we know the p value 150 Newton, I guess, let me check. Yes, 150 Newton, then we can calculate ay equal to 4103.46 Newton. If I know ay, then I can calculate dy also on this frequency diagram. If I know this ay, dy, ax, dy, then come to the this point. So, what I have to do, I have to erase because so last one, what I have to do. So, we have to draw free body diagram to calculate C value. As you told the C value, so what we want to draw? We want to draw free body diagram of it. Yes, free body diagram of either upper portions or lower portions. Okay. So, these portions. So, if I draw Fibonacci diagram of this, so what we can get, we already know that Ax is 0. So, we have only Ay here, Ay and here we have Ox, Oy, this point is O and here it is C, okay. So, if somebody want to take moment with respect to O and try to equate to 0, then is minus ay multiplied by 20 clockwise okay plus c multiplied by 60 equal to 0 so c equal to basically ay by 3 ay we got some value ay this this is ay 4103 and cy equal to cy equal to c basically that is a y by 3, so 1, 3, 6, 7, Newton, okay. Hopefully that, yes, 1, 7, 6, 8, 6, 7, I got old calculation. That way, you can get the results. Any doubt up to this? No, sir. Then we can assume that next day, there will be no question from, no query from friction. I'm closing now, okay. Sorry, uh, from sir. Same. Ha, ha. Yes, yes. sir, in question number 9, yes. I have simple doubts, please. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, sir, at point A, it is a flat surface, so there shouldn't be any reaction force in horizontal component. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, sir. So, you want to say this is? A uh, flat surface, yeah. which is just trying to uplift the uh -huh. P. Pulley uh, uh, yeah. uh, side, uh, then. So, yep. why would it, there be a horizontal component of reaction force? Okay, why it is horizontal component of the reaction force? Let me check in this problem 9. Okay, good questions. So, why this will be the horizontal force? So, Figure fully removing or just a minute. Let me read out. Removing the people, please, people, fully P from this tight fitting shaft. Yes, okay. Yes, right. Okay, if the pulley starts, if the pulley starts to slide off the shaft from your compression. Start the side of the shaft when the compression on the screw has reached this. It will be understood in the force supported by the each jaw. 
and that is when you are going to the force keep the stress parallel to the center screw okay so you are expecting that when you are uh, like like we are putting this so some screw rotations here so it should only it should only uh, it should only uh, have this force that is your question correct yes a point vertical component of vertical vertical yes mm -hmm. if i if i draw this then okay okay or or maybe you want to draw if you want to draw this you are expecting only this force say a yes. y you your idea is this area supposed to be zero that is your question or uh, yes that is the question so okay. why it is happening okay if i see the answer say a y is around 0.6 kilo newton and ax is 1.8 kilo newton okay so i'll tell you from the answer also ay equal to 0.6 kilo newton and ax equal to 0.18 kilo newton and this is very good question logical question okay why you are expecting ax equal to 0 because this is only only uh, uh, it is in contact only correct Yes, sir. It is a. It is like just like surface, like we lift a book or something. Okay. When you are lifting the book or something, okay. You you try to understand this problem. Are you not uh, feeling like that? If there is no sleep, a uh, friction at all, then it's supposed to be sleep from that. Even if little bit perturbation of force, little bit unbalance in x direction, this is supposed to be. uh keep from this yes sir okay that means there is some friction force okay to mm -hmm. keep it uh, contact basically this a ax this ax is very less force compared to that you can see this ax will come in reality due to the frictional force only that's why it has come a less value this is theoretical solution we are doing a actually yes. in this type of problem this mechanism when it acts due to due to some frictional force there will be some horizontal force that will be adjusted with frictional force will come here okay that is imaginary force you can say frictional force yes. friction force that is the component of 0.18 kN if there is no that that is no friction force then this 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 Will be supposed to be slipped away due to that away. Even little bit perturbation of force in x directions, even some delta, very minor force in the x directions will lead to will lead to uh, some unbalancing of this and pulley, uh, this pulley will be come out from this arrangement. So basically, ax is reality. Ax component is from the friction, although we are not considering the friction and we are assuming. and we are assuming that uh, that that uh, that if the pulley starts to if the pulley starts to slide off the shaft when compression force has been reached this why the pulley starts to uh, slide off the shaft it is it is been told because this is the one limiting case we can assume that after that it it it, it we, we cannot apply some more forces there are few things one is there is some contact between the shaft to pulley correct here there is yes. some frictional force those type of thing also we are having another thing is there is some some sort of frictional force also here another thing we can you can consider a little bit because this is very good mechanism let me tell you what will happen if you if you apply this one if you apply this one so there are many things here just a minute this will if you apply force like this this will try to uh, move this directions or or this directions this mechanism i didn't get that okay if you apply this force this the, if you apply more movement here this skew yes then this too is is trying to move uh, inward direction outward 
outward outward direction if it moves outward direction so if it moves outward direction this is moving down outward direction then what will be tendency of this one to go uh, inward in what direction yes okay if it is going in our direction possible that this will come to the uh, possible that this will come to contact here to get for uh, axial directions uh, reactions possibility is there okay yes sir but actually the scenario is shown there are many things here it is acting number 1 is friction number 2 that if uh, this mechanism moves such that such that it is getting some contact this 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 edge this edge is getting contact with contact with this okay this moves here yeah. then you can get also reaction that way to get the equilibrium actually to when you solve this to get the equilibrium you got this value you got this value just to get the equilibrium now question is from where it has come this edge directional force actually this contact you can consider it is surface to surface contact is not it yes sir surface to surface contact definitely has to friction okay so friction will adjust this force or else it will not reach to the equilibrium so in simple words the answer to the your question is this force you are getting to satisfy the equilibrium and there should be enough friction between these two surfaces to to give that to supply that amount of frictional force to to uh, to satisfy the equilibrium condition or else this problem will not match with the reality what you are yes what you are right yes sir thank okay. you sir okay. any other questions from from uh, uh, that frame no correct hello no sir okay then i can close this no further questions from here okay now yes somebody ask yes ha ah, now tell me which problem you are looking for sir question number 1 understand it that no give me one minute sir let me know take down question number 1 okay sir 8 just wait okay i can note down in other place 1 8 and 10 just a minute what it is told here that from one for one specify x and z coordinate of the center of mass of the cylindrical shell center of mass so i am looking for that type of expression rho multiplied by g or rho A multiplied by theta. There is a volume, correct? Maybe rho will cancel out, but I I need rho as it is center of mass, not centroid. Be careful. If you are not writing, maybe answer is same, but if you are not writing rho, then I will deduct mass. Okay, maybe 
if it is 7 marks 2 marks will be deducted for not writing row and uh, row and say t if it is same okay A, one expression you should put there then you cancel out from numerator and denominator so it is to specify x and z coordinate okay let me let me okay so for this okay centroid lies on line of symmetry that's why this is having the symmetry this one x axis symmetry that's why it is this one x axis this is symmetric correct x axis symmetry try to understand it is it is it is having symmetry because if you see this way this is the x axis sorry 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 symmetry line uh, line of symmetry which is the line of symmetry z axis symmetry is wrong here there this is z and this is say, y this is the z axis with respect to z axis with respect to z axis it is symmetry and centroid lies on the line of symmetry that's that means it is z equal to sorry y equal to 0 that is this line is not it this line is y equal to 0 or other way i can say symmetry is based on symmetry plane better way to say there will be some symmetry plane which is the symmetry plane here x z Xz is the plane. This is better understanding. Xz is the symmetry plane. If it is the symmetry plane and centroid is lying on that plane, that means y equal to zero. So that center of mass, right? Center of mass. Okay. Okay. If rho is constant, thickness is constant. Okay. So center of mass and uh, centroid will be same. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. That way, I, I can say. So that I understood why equal to that's why why has not been asked. Now, if you consider along the x axis, along the x axis, it is 240 mm, this to this, and this is the 0, 0 point, 0, 0, 0. Okay. But you can see another symmetry line, that is this line. If you take, if you take uh, x equal to, if you take x equal to, uh, 120 x here we got y equal to 0 symmetry line similarly if you take x equal to 120 here imaginary line you take it then you will get another symmetry line this is also symmetry line so center should lie there also so this should, is the intersection try to understand so this is the another symmetry line that's why x c equal to 240 by 2 120 this is Okay, now for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Equal to zero, although not been asked. Now, last question is Z. Yeah. So, if someone want to see this one, it is very thin, correct? Thin. So, somebody can consider instead of volume, okay sorry instead of this 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 area somebody can consider this is the only line actually why it is line i am telling i am considering only this cross section this cross section this cross section can be considered just as a line is not it this thin, very thin yes sir. if it is so we know that that it is alpha sorry R sin alpha by alpha. This was the expression we have before. In a date. Yes, sir. So, what is the alpha? Pi by 2. In a date. Yes, sir. Then it is, what will be the value? This is 1, correct? 2 r by pi. 2 r by 2 r by pi. 2 r by pi. Okay. 
and that distance that distance is from which location from this one correct from this one this distance yes sir sir r minus z yes r minus z so if i go to the solutions okay so we can consider this as the line r sin alpha by alpha alpha equal to pi by 2 so so here 2 r by pi sin alpha 1 you put r value d value is given to 40 r equal to this so zc equal to somebody told right z minus zc this is the value is it clear yes sir that is done the next was problem 4 okay okay 4 we can sir, move this it wasn't actually hello yes. sorry sir yes. it wasn't actually for i was trying to ask ninth question sorry i need no problem to... not this one nine not this one it's okay na yes sir no okay. no nine. yes sir this one this yes, one you want correct this somebody yes, has this somebody has this okay eight nine ten no issue this thing i have to note down here Okay, eight nine ten. Eight first. Okay. So determine the coordinate of the centroid of the volume obtained by revolving the shaded area about the z axis through ninety degree. Sir, how to take the strip here? Ah, yeah, yeah, I okay. get. Actually, shaded area you will not able to understand which one is shaded area. It is missed actually. Okay. Don't worry. How to take the uh, centroid of the volume? That means we have to take that. We have to take the strip for the volume. How to take the volume? So what do you think? The shaded area will be this one or this one? What is your understanding? Or guess? Sir, one one eighth of the sphere. Lower. Or lower one. Lower one, okay. I'll tell you. Eight, correct? Right? Lower one. Okay, that is not clear from there. It is lower one. So, if I ask this question in exam, I have to draw this carefully. I have to add this portion. Okay. Now clear this one. This lower portion. So this is basically this is the hollow one. Okay. Okay. Now centroid of the volume obtained by revolving the shaded area by z axis. Sir, it Double. is something cut of a mold. Hmm hmm hmm. Hmm. Yes yes yes. Half uh, uh, hemisphere. Yes yes. So. One minute. Okay, this distributed force. Okay, we are here. So what the question is? How to take that? Speed. Okay. So it is volume. Okay. So it is y dv by dv which one has been asked x and y okay if it is x and it is y whether it is symmetric is not it whether you are using either x or y it is okay from the symmetry we can get either x or y you can get okay so now you try to understand if i consider this one this sections let me take a different color this color or this color this sections you concentrate if it is x and that is y then this is the z this is the z so let's draw this z axis 
And that section is this. And this is y directions. So this is y distance, this is dy. And height is z. Is it clear? If I take one vertical, take one vertical stream, this is, you can note down. This is z, this is y, so direction, this is y length, this is dy, this is z. I am looking for this side view from that side. Now, if I want to look from the top, if I want to look from the top, then this, this will be y, this will be the x, this x will be there, this y will be there and that section will looks like this. Sorry. Now, for this elemental stream, this elemental stream, this element, this is the element basically, one step, volume we can calculate, okay, for this step, what is the volume for this, 2 pi r multiplied by 4 multiplied by height, so 2 pi r what is r here? It is y by 4, 1 fourth multiplied by z. This is dv basically. Sir, it is from the top view. Is that, oh, wait, wait, I missed something. 2 pi r, 2 pi r multiplied by dr, I missed here, dy. Okay. Here dy I missed, one second I do. Volume, I am going for volume, just wait. I missed there. Yeah. So, what I mean to say, you try to understand, what is dv element? So, first of all, 2 pi r, so 2 pi y by 4, 2 pi r multiplied by t, t is dy, is not it? Yes, sir. That is the area, so that is the, that is the area of this one, top view multiplied by its height z to get volume this is the z so equal to pi z y dz by 2 this dv equal to pi y by 2 z dy anything any way we can write you are, up to this is okay or not Should I explain once again? dv will be sir. dv will be yes, this area wait. Yes, yes, tell me this area multiplied by its height, this area volume multiplied by this height. Ha, tell me, tell me. Yes. Do you have any doubt? Let me know. Yes or no? Sir, what's the height, sir? Height is z here from base. No, sir. Yes? Z. It is z. Sir, it is z or a? This, this one? Z. Yes, this is what's the height, sir? A or z, sir? A is no. the radius of sir, the... Uh, no doubt, sir. No, no, I am talking about, see, how we have taken the steep, this steep we have taken, okay, try to understand, this steep, yes, sir. this steep height is z, but total height is a, I am not, it is there, so what I want to say, I have taken one steep like this, you considered only this, this steep we have considered initially. Okay, okay, now understood. Understood, this steep, uh, yes, yes, so this is 2 pi r, uh, that means 2 pi r by 4, 2 pi y by 4 dy z, this is z, okay. Indication point will put whatever you are talking about, limit, okay. 
that value we got. Understood this part? Yes, sir. Understood. Okay. Yes. Now question is, what is this expression for this uh, z value? Or uh, or actually you can see here what we got y z dy y is fine. So z we have z supposed to be function of y that we have to write z supposed to be function of y. If we can do, then the remaining thing is very easy. So from this, from this uh, 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 one part of the sphere, what will be that that expressions of this? Uh, what should be the expression of this sphere? From there, or maybe from the cross section circle, you can get the idea the value of z. We need. Z that in terms of we need Z in terms of Y. Then remaining thing is easy. If C this one Z in terms of Y. This is the sphere. From where we can get that relationship. X and Y, they are symmetric that we can see from this figure. But for Z, okay, can you, anybody tell me from how we can get that relationship? Okay, what is the center basically? The center, center locations. What is the value? Sir, 0, 0, 0, A. Okay. Center is 0, comma, X is 0, Y is 0, comma, A. Yes. Good. That is the center. Now from there, can you draw any relationship between uh, Y and Z? Y square plus Z minus A square equal to A square. Just a minute. Y square plus Z minus A square plus equal to A square. Just a minute. Z minus A, A whole square, square equal to A square. A square. That means Y square, Y square. Okay. Y, yes, center. Y square plus z minus y square equal to that means you are considering some circle like this no this one if i extend this one correct yes. it, it, it is difficult to show but you are considering this yes then z equal to a z so first of all this is a square minus y square this is a square minus y square. this is the expression then Yes, Z equal to? Yes. You are, let me check. So, this is the y. Yes, that is the expression. And indication is, indication point, if you want to calculate V, 0 to A. Yes, do this. You will get this expression, V equal to this. This is the V. Next is, our expression was Y dV multiplied by Y. Here one important thing is multiplied by y, it is not actually multiplied by y. Yes. Y e. Okay. Elemental y. What is the y e or x e from this? It is for this. What is the CG location for this line? Sir, it's uh, written sir uh, x e and y e. For the x, y, yes. upper view. For, from the yes, upper yes. View. yes, yes. For this, what will be the value for x, x, e or y, e, whatever you want. Same, no? Value. What is the value of x, e and y, e? Because this is a line, is not it? So, if somebody wants to do like this also, 
so r sin alpha by alpha so alpha is pi by 4 r so sin pi by 8 pi by 4 by pi by 8 sin no this is pi by 2 basically Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Edward, yes, sir. This is five by four. Five by four. Five by four by. Sir, what angle alpha, sir? Alpha is this is equal to twice alpha. If I use this twice alpha, okay, then I can get this RC value basically. This value we can get. It is twice alpha. How we have done on that day? We have we have step like this alpha alpha is not it? Yes sir. Steve that one I am writing now. This alpha equal to pi by four. Then four r by pi and sine pi by four one by root two is not it? Okay. Now that way we can get this this. RC, this is the RC value, but we want to write in the expression either x and y. That means this is 45 degree. So this YC or YE basically YE will be RC multiplied by cosine pi by 4. That means 4R by pi multiplied by 1 by root 2 multiplied by One by root, one by root two. Half, half, two yes, or by by. That way also you can show. So what we can do? What I have done? I have considered this is the alpha pi by four. Then x c and y c, we our target. But as per this formula, we can calculate only this. That is r c. Generally, r c value is four pi uh, r sin alpha by alpha. And 4r by pi, 1 by root 2. But we are interested for y, yc. Yc equal to rc multiplied by cosine pi by 4. So, bring the volume. It is twice r by pi. But it is, it is twice r by pi. But here, here it is not basically. It is not given as a r. Just a minute. I have to replace R by Y, whether I am done here or not. Give me one minute. Yes. Y. Mm. R C by root two is okay. I have written here. But I have to remove this R by Y. I have to remove R by Y. So R by root two is okay. That I understood. But R was just check whether I am doing something wrong or not here. Let me check once. R sine alpha by alpha. So R sine. Pi by four, four R by this, this. R yeah, is yes. A, right? No, actually we have taken any step say here. Okay, sir. Okay. Any step, okay. That is not uh, that one. But this R basically um, you told that when we are drawing this. This is arbitrary value, and finally, this we will calculate yc or xc. Let me draw this way. So, this this is in terms of r. This is rc. Rc then rc cosine is this. But I want here in terms of y, not r. That one you help me for that. So what is 
So we are using elemental strip. Elemental. So y c is two r by pi. Then r will become. That's why somehow there is some mistake. Somewhere one there is some double uh, terms we have used. Okay. If I clean it, let me check it. Okay. So what I can do? I can erase it. Many words we put together here. Yeah. So we are stuck for this uh, oh x c value or y c value. If we can resolve that, then it is done. So we found y c is yes. two r by pi. Let me just two r c by pi. Uh, I did some reverse thing somewhere. Ah, so you tell me what you are telling now. Y c so, y c is equal to r c by root two, right? And when we put R C value, one, one minute. Y C equal to R C by root two. Yes. Yes. And uh, when we put R C value, yes. Then it comes Y C is equal to two R by pi. Therefore, R will be okay. Two you one by pi. Okay. Okay. So you mean to say when we are putting this, but what is the R C value? That is. I am looking for that. What is the R C value? Ah. In terms of y. Okay, many way people can do. Somebody can do this way. You assume that when we have this part, this type of part, basically, okay, the full sections. When people are using this, then simply they know. That this value for this entire things using R sine alpha by alpha, say then R pi by two one by pi by two two R by pi. Somebody can use this, and as this is symmetry, if you take half section, this portion will remain same. That I also people, uh, some books do. Full section means means uh, alpha equal to pi by two, and somebody can solve. But what I was trying in reverse way, let's have this angle, uh, this one, alpha equal to pi by four, and try to correlate with that. One second, I am trying here. So if I give this r sine alpha by alpha, r sine pi by four by Pi by four equal to four r by pi multiplied by one by root two. But here, what is r? R basically, as I am writing here, r sine alpha by alpha. R basically nothing but x, yes or y. That's all. See what is r here? X or y? Yes, sir. Yes. Now it's all. <laughs> it is R equal to x or y. Anything is fine. Now you put the y. Then this this R C is nothing but y. Y by root two. That means four y by pi one by root two multiplied by one by root two. This is two four. So two y by pi. That's all. Very good. So we can add that one. What we will add? That that terms. Basically, this y e y e l or elemental two r by pi. We will write. Sorry, sorry, two y by pi. Once again, I am doing mistake. Two y by pi. Okay. So once I write two y by pi, so two by pi will be outside. Two by two by pi will be outside. Then whatever remaining things we are having here, v. This expression, v, this expression, you have to multiply with this y by two uh, by pi multiplied by y. So this and this will be cancelled out. Then y will be multiplied with this a y square. Here it is y square. You have to do the integrations properly. Once you have done that integrations, 
finally we will get yc yc equal to ydb this value this is the yc value this is same as xc value now somebody want to calculate zc say for example zc then for zc this this element z e when we use elemental z that is z by 2 similar way you used here z by 2 and what is z square root a minus a square minus y square no all indication you do carefully finally finally you will get z bar equal to a by 4 it is lengthy problem understood have you understood the theoretically have you understood then you have to solve this properly it will take some time to do the integration, but finally you will get this result. Sir, so, where do you put sir value of y set in y e d v integration y e d v integration of this 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 one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This line. Yes. This one we use two y by pi. This yes, sir, one. Then, sir. How we get the value of y set that y? This y? Hmm. Okay. Actually, our calculation was r sin alpha by alpha. If you take this one, what is r for this one? r was either y or x. Both are same. I replace r by y. r equal to y. That's why I got here y. Okay, sir. Have you understood? Actually, in our expression, it was r sin alpha by alpha. Actually, what is r? r basically for this element. r was either x or y value. I put that value and we got y. Okay, sir. Okay. So, so maybe we can stop here. And the next day, remaining things we can solve. So, a is yes, yes, yes. Sir. Yeah. Sir, now we are using symmetric x is equal to y. Which can you are telling? I I mean to say. Sir, in this picture. Understood. Understood. I'll tell you once again. You look when you are using. One minute. When you are using this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Okay. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. So this is the x c y c. And then either you use x or y for the top view, it is same. Top view means this one. Yes, sir. That's why we are using either x and y, that is same. You have to be, be very careful and stick to the figure you have drawn. When in this problem, we, you are looking for, you are looking for this, this side, that means this. When you are looking from top, that means you have drawn this, this portion, okay? And you are doing the indications. So to do so, you have to be careful that this problem, this r equal to y or, or, or x. I have used y because everything in terms of dy terms are there. As di, dy terms was there, I have used, uh, replaced r by y. That's all. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Okay. But yes. sir, in this, in, but the integration of volume, sir, when we calculating the volume, yes. sir, someone can do by volume integration, can? So, in integration, this one you meant to say, this integration? Yes, sir. According to sir, x, y changes, z also changes. Yes, you can do that volume. way also. Double integration you want, correct? Yes, sir. That also you can do. You will get the same results. Whatever form you will get, Whatever form you will give, you will get the same result. I have no issue to use either single integration, double integration. No issue at all. Finally, you are supposed to get this value. That is the important. This is problem 8, I guess, correct? Yes. This x bar and y bar are same and z bar is a by 4. This is a by 4 and that is 4 by pi minus c by 4 multiplied by a. That's all. Okay, we can stop here. So, remaining things, problem 9, 10, 
and uh, 5.2 you solve if you have any issue 5.3 you solve if you have any issue next day we can solve that will be the last day before your mid term okay <coughs> okay okay guys bye bye yeah uh, sir i joined a little late <laughs> so can you please my, my